what is questioner what is the purpose of questioner and what are the requests of questioner how to design a questioner and what are the elements of questioner at the very strike of the word questioner we will be getting a lot of aspects with our mind suppose if i ask you a question what is a questioner then immediately you will be coming out with a different answers some answers are like tool instrument maybe some people will be telling that questioner is like a set of questions and here it is mainly used for data collection and we give this to the respondents and we obtain information from them so these are the common uh, words that strikes our mind at the very mention of the word questioner so questioner is a word which is not very new to us so this is one of the methods of collecting data so in our research if we have decided to collect the data there are so many methods which are available and one of the feasible methods and most commonly used method is questioner so questioner is like a tool or it is an instrument it comprises of set of questions and it is mainly used to collect the data from the respondents as a result of which we are obtaining a lot of information so what is actually a questioner is all about so the questioner was first initiated by sir galton francis so according to him so the questioner is any written document that provide respondents with a sequence of questions or statement in which they are to respond either by writing out their answers or choosing from an already existing or given answers so what are the things that we have discussed here regarding the questioner all these words are actually put together in a very proper manner and the definition of questioner is presented like this and sometimes some other people have also defined a questioner and generally they say that it is the research mechanism it contain a chain of questions for the purpose of assembling information and data from the people of course when you are going to have a questioner we are having a chain of questions and what is the main reason behind all these chain of question is to get the data get the information you assemble them and make it in a very presentable way so questioner they commonly ask questions which produce ideas preferences and facts so some other way of defining the questioner is it is actually having a lot of questions so when a question is being asked to us then definitely it will be giving us a chance to express our ideas and some facts will be received and some preferences will be made so questioner is all about a set of questions which is put forward to collect some data so this is all about uh, the definition of a questioner so the moment we mention the word questioner what strikes our mind is the set of questions and it is an excellent tool and we have to collect the information or the data from the people by proper administration of this questioner and we'll move on to the purpose of questioner so there are so many methods available to collect the data but why do we prefer the questioner what is the purpose of administering a questioner so the very first one is actually the extraction of data so you want to get the data you want to collect some information from the people that is your respondents so imagine that you are a researcher and you want to collect the data regarding your research you have formulated your research questions and uh, formulation of hypothesis also have taken place then finally you are just setting up a questioner and the main thing of setting up a question is to collect the data so here you want to receive the information from your respondents in order to substantiate your research and also if you want to get the data from large number of people so if you want to have a large number of respondents then you can go for this questioner and this questioner one of the most important advantage also i can say that it is highly inexpensive so it is cost effective and also it is time effective suppose in case if you want to just get the data from a thousand respondents 
or from 2000 respondents a person in that case even at that time also you can just use this method of questionnaire because if your respondents are very nearby you can just give the questionnaire you can ask them to just fill it up and you can get it done immediately so we might have also come across uh, such cases like time effective and large number of respondents suppose if you have undergone a training program and if you have been distributed a questionnaire to collect the feedback of the training program and then what happens here so it is actually time effective because from all the people we are able to get the respondents within a short period of time so this is the main purpose of having a questionnaire and this is the main purpose of using the questionnaire as one of the methods of data collection and what are the request of a questionnaire so we have to be very clear with this request of questionnaire see a questionnaire is a very simple to construct because you are just going to put up with a lot of questions but how to make a questionnaire to be your ideal one so here just you have a better understanding of questionnaire is set of questions so you want to put the questions in a very proper way so definitely we'll be using the language as a medium so the language what you are using must be very simple and specific so if you are going to conduct a research in a regional language if you are going to use otherwise you are going to go for an official language otherwise you are going to go for any other languages particularly focusing on certain group of people so you must be very specific about that and all your questions must have a logical sequence so if i'm going to ask a question then the sequence of questions must be logical in nature they must have at least a connection between the questions and also it has to be free from the ambiguity so it has to be very clear and precise it must not be vague and fuzzifying you what are you about to ask and your questioner must have come clear directions for example suppose if you want to give your own opinion for some other questions so you must give some directions how to respond to each question so because it is not all the people who will be able to understand the, the way you expect them to answer so if you are going to give some clear directions then it will be very easy for them to follow and then the questions what you are setting must give you the accurate response so it must not uh, commotion them or it must not confuse them or it must not create any chaos so they must be able to give the accurate response so what you want to communicate to them through the question what do you want them to respond so in such a way that you have to set up your questions and always you go for one answer and in one dimension so if you want to ask a question see to that the question gives you only a single answer if you are getting a multiple answers for a single question then the questions will not be a set right for it and you focus the questions on only one dimension so that is very very essential if you are having a multi dimensional aspect with a single question then really it disturbs the real flow of your answering so these are some basic request of a questioner if you want to have your questioner to be a very ideal one then have in mind that you use very simple language use very simple words and see to that your questions are having some order in it they follows a sequence in it and it is not very vague it is very clear it is very precise and give proper directions to the respondents and uh, see to that your questions are giving them the accurate response always focus your questions which gives on one answer and in one dimension so why these things are to be taken much care in preparing a questioner or in administering a questioner so generally in research if you want to collect the data and if you are going to use the method of questioner as one of the tools of data collection then you prepare a questioner you give it to your respondent so your presence as a researcher will not be there with a the respondent only the questioner what is prepared by you reaches them so here there is no presence of the researcher physically okay and suppose the respondents if they are able to follow what you are trying to communicate or what you are trying to make them to do as a result of your expectation out of it 
then if they are able to do well and good but many a times what happens is if proper instructions if proper directions are not given then it leads to the commotions and you will not get your expected results that's why some request of questioners are discussed certain aspects are highly stressed and emphasized in designing the questioner so in preparing a questioner so i can say that preparing a questioner is a easier task at the same time one has to be very cautious at each and every stage to administer an ideal questioner so you since your presence will not be there at the time of the respondents answering the questions it is only the questions prepared by you will be there at that time so you must be very cautious in setting the questions because those questions are the entry gates for the respondents to have the flow of responses because only out of answering those questions you will be able to get the data and the data must be as expected as you have desired or as you have prepared for the respondents to respond in such a way you expect to do so so you must be very much cautious and pretty clear also in setting up the questioner so that's why we are focusing much on these aspects and we all put these things together as a request of questioner and we'll see something about like a design of questioner so this is very very important because as i said before questioner is so simple to design it but still the researcher must be very cautious at each and every stage so if you are going to design a questioner what are the things you must have it in your mind so the very first one is your initial considerations so what is that initial consideration you must be very clear about what you are going to do so what is your research problem is all about and what is the hypothesis been formulated by you what are you going to do what is your research area and uh, what about the review of the literature that you have collected so far and how many of people have used this method of questioner to collect the data and what type of interpretations they have given and what type of questions have been put forward to that uh, respondents and what type of responses they have received so all those things you must be having an overview of it because the questioner contains the questions for which you are going to collect the data and that must be related to your research problem so you must have some connectivity between your research problem as well as the questioner that you are putting forth as a tool to collect the required data and if there is no synchronization between these two then really it won't end up in the good results so you must be very cautious in setting up the questioner in one particular context is whether the questioner which is containing the questions are related to your study or not so it must be a reflection of what you are doing it and the next one the question content and the response format so what are the questions you are going to ask you just prepare a rough draft there is nothing wrong in that you just to put up uh, the research questions what are going to ask over here so what are the questions you want to have in the questioner so you just prepare a rough draft of it and see to that how you want the respondents to respond so whether they have to give an answer whether they have to say a sro type or whether they want to give their own suggestions so something like that it depends on how you are designing it and you put the questions in the sequence so which question should come first and what are the following questions so what are the questions that are related to one another what are the questions that are not related and uh, you have to just able to sequence the questions and you want to make a layout of it so just you have a design of your question format how it is supposed to be there and you just to go for a pre test so what is that pre test is nothing but you just administer this particular questioner for a few set of people and check whether it is working or not whether what answer you are expecting or whether the questions are able to understand by the respondents whether they are giving the desired responses or whether they are not able to give any responses so you must be very pretty clear about it because as a researcher i always perceive that all my questions are very correct 
so there is no ambiguity in it so i am able to follow it but just give it to the another person and you check whether that person is also able to understand the same way as you have understood or not so this is very much important because we always thrust we always project our things to the questions to the respondents and we are expecting them also to respond in a similar fashion so after administering the questionnaire and if you feel that some questions we are not able to follow then really it is mere waste of time so in order to avoid all those things we can just have a pilot survey and you can have a pre testing of it to some minimum number of people and check whether your questionnaire is working very well or not whether it is working according to your expectations or not so after doing this pre test and if something has to be revised then you can go for the revision if you feel that some questions are vague if you feel that some questions they are not able to answer it and it seems to little complicated then you can revise those questions and finally you can just uh, send the questionnaire you can administer it and you can collect the data so this is the design of questionnaire so the very important thing is your questionnaire must be related to your research it must not collect some data which is not relevant or which is not needed to your research so whatever is essentially required so what are the factors you are going to consider in your research so those factors should all put up together in your questionnaire so it must have some space in your questionnaire if you are going to find the relationship between the two variables if you are going to find uh, the impact of one variable over the another for example very generalized i am telling you then your questions must be designed in such a way that so there is nothing wrong in preparing a rough draft of the questions initially and you have to work and rework again and again in order to make your question to be an ideal one so now we'll see about the elements of questionnaire because so far we have seen in a more comprehensive manner about what is a questionnaire and uh, what is the purpose of a questionnaire and what are the requests of a questionnaire and what are the steps involved in designing a questionnaire but this is the ultimate part of this what are the elements of a questionnaire okay we were discussing so much things about the questionnaire but how a questionnaire must actually be so what are the elements or i can say what are the parts of a questionnaire so definitely a questionnaire must have a title and title followed by a general introduction followed by some specific instructions and then comes your questionnaire items and followed by that you can have some additional information then finally the words of gratitude which ends the questioner so every questioner must have a title so all these six components are present in an ideal questioner so sometimes your additional information may or may not be required but there is nothing wrong in giving an additional information in your questioner so an ideal questioner will be comprising of all the six elements so we'll move on to the very first one the title so every questioner must have a title so the title must be very clear it must be very precise and the respondents will be getting oriented of that because it gives some directions so why are we conducting this questioner so why are we administering this questioner so why are, are you given a chance to fill up this questionnaire so everything will be given an answer from this title itself so it must be clear it must be precise and once you no know, the title of the questionnaire is given from the title itself it is very easy to identify what is the domain of this investigation is all about why are we collecting this particular data through this set of questions so to which specific field it is pertaining to and also your title must be captivating because it will attract and it will enthuse the respondents so that is very much important because 
the respondents know you must prepare them to just give their own responses so how is it possible i can say that your title will be acting like a motivation for them so looking at the title itself no they will be interested in registering their responses so some examples now i can just say the questioner on uh, challenges of smart factories so effects of counseling impacts of e learning so if i'm just giving a title from the very title itself you will be able to know what is this domain of investigation so smart factories you know very well that so something it is related to industry 4.0 so which is a very busy word here now and everyone is just talking much about your industry 4.0 people are talking about the additive manufacturing they are talking about iot artificial intelligence so so many things they are focusing nowadays and now the very mention of your questioner entitled challenges of smart factories i think that it's itself a self explanatory the very first time itself no it tells okay something this questioner is going to deal about uh, the recent transition of industries towards iot fine now what about the effects of counseling so simply okay this related to some psychological aspects some counseling effects are there about the impacts okay maybe regarding some of disorders how it is going to treat so you will automatically know able to understand what is the domain from which you are going to have this study is taken on then impacts of e learning so now many people have started to take a questioner or to take up their research on the impacts of e learning so it has brought a paradigm shift in the teaching and learning process nowadays so these are some examples you know of how a title should be there and from the very mention of the title itself the respondents will be able to understand okay what is the main domain and uh, what is the reason behind the collection of this data and another one thing the next one a questioner must have some general introduction so here the general introduction is here is something about the description of your research so why are you taking up this questionnaire why are you administering this questionnaire what is the purpose behind it so why are you doing it because you no know, some information should be given to the respondents then only they will be giving their own involvement to it so just for name sake if you are giving a questionnaire and asking them to fill you no know, they also will be doing it just for the name sake so you want to say the purpose it so it must not be two lengthy or giving them like a paragraph but at least two to three lines you should just tell them what is the significance of carrying out uh, your research and uh, what is the need of having a questioner like this so all these things put together no it will install them the feel that yes they must be a part and parcel of this data collection so you have to tell them that their participation is very very important suppose if you to say that uh, you are going to conduct an uh, particular administer questioner like that maybe what we have told before is nothing but your uh, challenges in smart factories you were telling something so definitely people are highly worried about the employmental change whether you feel that uh, unemployment will be reduced or again people will be losing their jobs or whether the technology replaces human so what all things will take place suppose if you are going to conduct a research on that particular one that is smart factories response and your employability then you just imagine and see automatically you no know, when you are going to say some few lines about your purpose of having such a questioner which is going to uh, integrate much on the impact of smart factories on the employability if that is going to be your things then you will be administering this particular questioner to the people who are concerned towards it and then after getting the data you no know, you will go for analysis fine so that is things is going to take place but the data what you are getting from your respondents must be highly integrity it has to be there it must be having a lot of truth in that it must be significant it must have some honesty in that so whatever they are telling out of their own out of their own will so that is very much important here so how can you make them to give their overall contribution the 100% contribution their own responses so it is only out of the description or the purpose what you are presenting under the general introduction 
So not simply getting a response from the respondents will make your uh, research or will make your interpretations good. But then how are they are participating that is very much important. And then the confidentiality of the responses. So you can expect them to give their truth answers and you can tell them that the response what you are giving will be confidential. So that is very much important because in some cases if you are going to ask certain questions regarding to some sensitive issues and some religious based one or some regarding some criminal law aspects you are going to focus in your particular uh, questioner some questions that is one or two and sometimes your respondents may not be having an intention to respond certain questions of that sort but still if you feel that it is unavoidable you are supposed to ask maybe sometimes they can ask about the uh, sex assaultation is taking place so when you're going to ask certain problems or certain questions regarding that uh, uh, sexual harassment problems is taking place and immediately you no know, not many of them will be willing to just respond to some of some questions so they may feel little uh, fear or they may not be feeling the intention to answer it but when you say that whatever responses you are give it will be highly confidential so you don't worry about it then automatically it gives them some courage it makes them to come out of the fear and then automatically they start responding certain sensitized questions also so you must be very pretty clear in about how you are presenting the general introduction. So it is not only going to uh, give them uh, the space for them their participation but also a hope and confidence on the researcher that is you who are going to design it that their responses will be highly confidential. And as a result of it they will be giving a truthful response. So not a false response but they will be giving a truthful response which is very essential for you. Because after administering such a questionnaire and getting a fake or getting a data which is not true, then definitely the results what you are get outing of that will not be significant or as you expect. Again, it leads into a lot of bias will be there. So in order to avoid all those things, you have to formulate a questionnaire with a very good general introduction. Some specific instruction should be given. So that must be some concise one. So you cannot give the specific instructions like a paragraph or something like that. Since it is a specific instruction, make it more specific. And sometimes, no, uh, to make the respondents answer some sort of questions, you may say that you put an end circle or you put a wrong or you just uh, uh, strike it off or you shade it. Something if you are giving uh, some sort of instructions, no, then you can have at least a demo will be there. So this is a proper way of shading it or this is a proper way of giving your correct answer. So you have to put a tick mark or whichever it is not up to you, you put a wrong mark. So how to put the wrong or how to put the tick? So in what way you are expecting them to put or in what way you are expecting the symbol that they are supposed to use. So you can have a demonstration of it also. And why are we having these uh, specific instructions? because it is the filling up process of the respondents. So when directions are given to them in giving their responses, then automatically know it is the answering process and it will also make them to consume very less time and also it will be make them so comfortable in giving their responses without any hurdles in it. So that is very much important because you are giving a set of questions to them and you are making your respondents to respond to it and they must be feeling so comfortable. So they must not get any unnecessary doubts because your presence won't be there. And uh, sometimes no, some people will not be there nearby also to help them. So it is they who wants to fill up the questionnaire on themselves and they must be filling up by themselves without the help of the others. So without any sort of confusion, so without any sort of doubts, they should be able to fulfill all their responses. So in that way, your specific instructions must be given. And here comes the questionnaire items. So this questionnaire items, you know, when I say this consists of all the questions. So I can say that it is a main part of the questionnaire and it contains all the questions. What do you want your respondents to answer? And it is actually given in a separated form. This is actually a different and distinct from the discussed above the three one, no? the title, 
general introduction as well as the specific instructions so you can give it that in a very first page and then followed by your questionnaire items and additional information so additional information is also going to play a vital role because sometimes you know you may have the contact information of your researcher so you can just give your contact information uh, maybe suppose any queries or something like that so you can just give your contact number or give, give your uh, email id and also you can collect their detail also if they are willing to do it they can give it because we cannot make it as a mandatory some people will be liking to reveal their identity but some do not like it so they want to be like anonymous persons they will just to give their response but they don't wish to reveal their identity but some people they will be highly interested to just reveal their identity and some will be even quite interested to know what is the result of this particular questionnaire and that time no you can just mention a word like that if you are interested to get to know the copy of the summary so you can provide your details or for further contact you know if you are interested that we can contact you so kindly give me your details so those things are the additional information so this is actually also going to play a little part of it so why we want to collect their details because for certain things you know for certain clarifications for get to know certain things so maybe if their response or something very different from the common responses so even that may be give you some instinct or insight meaning for you so you can collect the data and once if you are giving your own detailed contact details information that also build their trust and reliability okay fine uh, this is not going to do any harm for me if i'm going to give the response so nothing harm is going to take place yes it is very good i can give it so it will instill them a hope that nothing will be happening so these are the things which is very very essential and it is followed by the gratitude so this is the last part i can say this is a part which is going to end your questionnaire so with some words of gratitude so you will say that i thank you for your participation so thank you for spending your valuable time so this is little bit to make your questionnaire a very formal and it is very essential so now i like to give you a, a just a sample of it okay i just an example how a questionnaire will be like this and uh, once you are just going to browse it there are so many templates nowadays available and even when you are going to get an online way or the questions are there or the format of there everything is quite available for us as an resources but i think i have chosen this it will be very you easy for you to understand okay now it is a group fitness survey autumn 2010 all right so something is they are going to collect a feedback and uh, they are having some questions so i think this part is nothing but your uh, uh, the introduction in order to for us continually improve our service and programs and offering to you we would appreciate some few moments to take the following so they are just collecting a feedback okay and now so to thank you for your feedback all computer surveys will go into draw so when you are going to see such things so the automatic respondents will be interested some offers if you are giving uh, so these are some uh, ways to make your respondents uh, to respond the answers okay and now please take the most appropriate options and uh, what is your age so are you currently so this comes to us your questionnaire part and followed by that so you will be having the other questions like that so how many classes because it is something with your fitness no so it will be getting know that uh, how long you being a regular member of it how long you visit it so what is your preferred class time so on which days you want to attend the class so some questions so i can say that this is the uh, questionnaire part okay and uh, here comes you no know, some additional suggestions and comments and here comes your some additional information that is the contact informations and finally you are going to have this thank you so this is actually how a questionnaire will be looking like so you just to give a title you give some small introduction and you give them some small specific instructions for them so how to answer for all these questions some directions you can give and then automatically you present your questionnaire and followed by your additional information and then you go with the words of gratitude so this is how a questionnaire looks like and these are the elements of an ideal questionnaire 
so in the forthcoming videos we'll be seeing about uh, the main part of the questionnaire that is the questionnaire items